we are not even ready for this tea today. It is hot, y'all. <sighs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Chi, and welcome to Time with Chi. Today's video is going to be about something that's always on my heart, and it's self-love. I think our society has really gotten into the habit of, you know, being comfortable with always breaking people down and in a society that you're always kind of on the defense, it's really important to, you know, love yourself because I'm a strong component if you can't be loved or love other people unless you start with yourself first. We are our most prized possessions and here are a couple of my tips I wanted to go into, you know, what can you do to jumpstart your self-love journey? What what kind of things do you need to remove? And you know, in this video, we're gonna talk about them. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I wanna tackle is this. Self-love has nothing to do with your looks, in my personal opinion. Because of course I feel like I look great when I have my hair done, I got my makeup popping, but how do you feel about yourself when you don't have those things, when you don't have your popping wave, when you don't have a beat face? That is what I really think self-love is about. Like, even without, you know, the the things, these accessories, how do I feel about myself? And if when you don't have your makeup and your hair on, you don't feel great, that's kind of where you need to start maybe doing some exercises, you know, being in the mirror, looking at yourself. Like, I am beautiful. I am great. And it's not your beauty, your opinion on yourself should never just be solely tied with your out, outer parents because this stuff fades like we're gonna get older you could get into an accident god forbid like things can just happen so if you and your self-love journey is all about your looks then that is one thing i believe that you need to take a look at and maybe do some real hard work because a lot of people also use their looks to kind of condemn themselves and to condemn others and that comes into the game of comparison which we'll go into later so you know self-love is about yourself what's inside i think is the most important because this it's not always there y'all the second thing you need to do to jumpstart your self-love journey this is a huge one this is something that i work on every day and it's not letting the opinions of others dictate how i feel about myself a long time ago no not even a long time like maybe a year ago i really decided to you know love myself like i had gone through like um, a relationship and i you know i wasn't feeling like myself after and a big thing i realized is i let people and my family you know talk about me like i let them tell me how they feel about me all the time and i'm all for criticism when it's constructive but i'm not for badgering and I felt like a time had came when I had let people's opinions of me dictate how I felt about myself. So one thing I did, for instance, was I stopped letting something that I was insecure about that I'm constantly dealing with is um, my weight. So I stopped letting people talk to me about my weight. Except unless you were like a medical practitioner or my doctor, I don't just have open conversations about that because if this is something that I'm insecure about, it's not it's not about to be something that I just openly be let it be a topic about open field. What I'm no, no, it's I'm not talking about it with everybody. So if you have something that you want to work on in your self-love, like you want to work on how you feel about yourself with no makeup, and every time someone sees you, they're like, Oh, you look tired today, but like honestly, you just move that, you just move that opinion to the left and if people are always talking about, oh, girl, you're so angry, you're all the ways this, you know what, you don't even, sometimes you don't even need to engage because you kind of know what you're dealing with and you honestly want to work through it. So if you actively see yourself trying to work through your issues and people are always kind of trying to talk to you about it, but in a negative way, like people, I, I'm all for a positive you know, conversation and sisterhood, but if you, once you feel like it's negative and not necessary, just cut it out. Just don't even indulge. A third thing you need to do to jumpstart your self-love journey. Whew, this is for me. This is for y'all. This is for everyone, men, women, whoever you are, is you need to spend less time on social media. We live in this time. We're always on our phones, always on our phones. Like, can you think about the last time you were at dinner 
and you just had your phone like you was with somebody but you just had your phone and you was just scrolling through Instagram Instagram all these things are great but they become detrimental to our self-love when all we do is compare ourselves we're on Instagram we're looking at these people oh my god body goals relationship goals all these goals but like J. Cole said there's nothing better than a life that's yours I hope that I said that right but it's the truth like you need to learn to focus on yourself self-love has the keyword in front of it y'all self so you can't focus on everybody that you love I just love Beyonce I just love Cardi B I just love makeup shit I love all these people I love you can love them but don't just focus all your time scrolling on Instagram scrolling on Twitter scrolling on YouTube and just looking at all the everything everyone has in this point I wish I had that for myself no learn to be happy with what you have self-love is about being content while still working towards better goals but you need to be happy with where you are you're never gonna be able to get to the next place ever ever the fourth thing you need to stop doing I try and work with my friends on this and just co just being positive and correcting is stop trying to jump jump start like how do I describe it so I'm trying to jump people to the insult like a lot of times like your friend let's say you're in a dress room you'll come out and your friend will wear, wear something and you think they look great but they're like oh I look fat and already they've just like diminished the look they've diminished how they feel about themselves just by being you know negative or they're like oh yeah my, I, I don't look good my makeup is not like this and they're just already trying to beat you to the insult that you weren't even gonna give so my advice for you is to stop insulting yourself stop stop it if you want to love yourself you need to treat yourself like you are a queen you are a king whatever it may be like you need to be protective of how you speak about yourself because your words manifest into reality if you're always calling yourself fat you're always calling yourself dumb you're always calling yourself stupid then damn near you're gonna believe that about yourself you're gonna act like that you're gonna go into a room feeling like the ugliest person in the room you're gonna go into a room feeling like you're not you're not smart enough to be in the room when damn near you're, you're qualified know that you're qualified and it doesn't matter if i say it to you if you don't believe it to yourself so instead of calling out your insecurities embrace what you're insecure about like i've said before my weight was a big thing so what did i start doing i wanted to embrace it so i started taking pictures more i made a youtube and i constantly am in put in positions where i have to look at myself and i'm like you know if i'm not confident on camera if i don't uh, if i don't pose well in pictures then that i'm gonna feel some type of, like that's gonna kind of be me feeling some type of way but instead i'm like okay i'm embracing my body i'm embracing my curves i feel great I feel beautiful and that was kind of how I was able to take the control back so if you don't feel smart for whatever reason is do whatever you need to do to affirm your education if you are a student you don't feel smart study more if you're in your work and you don't feel qualified put in maybe extra hours but know that you are qualified like even without a degree even without the job title you are meant to be in the spaces where you are because God makes no mistakes so just remember that and the last thing we need to stop doing is seeking validation from men I know millions I don't know millions of people but I know a lot of women myself I've gone through this but when you only feel validated when you're dating a guy or you're going out and somebody checks you out and they're like well, what's up mom y'all we need to know that we are beautiful that we are worthy even if we're single even if we're not the we don't just go out and everybody just stops to take paparazzi like you're bad all on your own and the moment you're able to embrace that and to really hone in on that things are going to change because you'll start going out just for fun you won't be going out just to meet man you won't be going out just for attention you're going to be going out because you genuinely want to go out so stop looking for validation from men stop looking for validation from these relationships because what you're going to do is you're going to get into these relationships and it's not going to be enough like it's not going to be enough because you don't think you're enough and what needs to happen in your self-love journey is you need to believe that you're enough you need to believe that you're worthy of love that you're worthy of being treated well and all that stuff starts with you you can't want love if you don't love yourself so 
those are my tips for you those are my advice I hope this works for you I hope that one of these tips helps like just one even if it's just one that you really implement and you just you know kind of change your behavior change how you look at yourself I'll be going into affirmations in maybe my next video which you know is all about you know self-talk like how are we talking about yourself how what are the steps what are the I am's so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time bye